Hello everyone and welcome to K-Pop Lyrics Decoded, where we take the difficult Korean grammar and K-Pop songs and break it down into smaller, more easy to understand little chunks. And today, we are talking about Ah Yeah by EXID. Alright, let's get started. The first sentence we have here is, 이런 시간 번에, 이대론 불편해. And that is, and that is five words. And the first word we have is 이런, the red word there, 이런. And it means this kind, or like this, or such. And the yellow word we have there is 시간, which means time. And the green word is 번해, which is the informal present tense conjugation of 번하다, which is to be typical or obvious. And the blue word we have is a word and a particle. Idero means like this or as it is. It's not like this as in do it this way, do it like this. It means like this as in if you continue in this way, if you continue like this. And then we have the topic marking particle nun, but sometimes in Korean they like to shorten the particles down. So instead of idero nun, we're taking off half of it and it's just ideron. It's a little easier to say that way. And the pink word we have is purpyonhe, which is the present tense informal conjugation of purpyonhada, which means inconvenient or uncomfortable. So, literally translated, it would be, this kind of time is typical, like this is uncomfortable. Since this is a song and we're not a textbook, it's translated as, these moments are typical, this way is uncomfortable. 이런 시간 번해, these moments are typical. 이대론 불편해, this way is uncomfortable. And, the next slide we have is, 자꾸 그런 거만 물어보지 마. 자꾸 그런 것만 물어보지 마. That's basically three words. <laughs> it sounds a lot longer than that, but I promise it isn't. The first word is 자꾸, which means again and again, or keep, like keep doing that. 자꾸. Then we have the orange word, 그런 거만, which is three different things. It's 그런 which means that sort of. Earlier we had 이런, which means this sort of. Now this word is 그런, that sort of. <laughs> then we have the word 거, which comes from got, which means thing. And then we have the particle 만, which means only. So it's three different things. 그런, 거, 만, which is that sort of thing only. 그런 거만. And we have the word 물어보지마, which comes from the verb 물어보다, which means to ask something. And if you conjugate a verb with 지마, it means don't do it. So 물어보지마 means do not ask. And if you want to say don't do it, you say 하지마. If you want to say, don't eat it, say, 먹지 마. <laughs> it's a very helpful conjugation to learn. All right, so let's read it again. 자꾸, again and again. 그런 거만, that sort of thing only. 물어보지 마, don't ask. Literally translated, it would be, don't keep asking me those kinds of things. But since this is a song, we're translating it as, stop asking me those kinds of things. And the next sentence we have is, 원하는 대로 해, 나는 그게 편해. 원하는 대로 해, 나는 그게 편해. And that's four different words. And the first word, the red one, is 원하는 대로 해. Now, this is a little bit complicated, so stay with me here. The base of all this is the verb 원하다, which is to want. All right? And 대로 means way. So if we put it together, won hanindero, it means how you want, like you want. 
And then you're putting the verb he, which comes from the verb hada, which means to do. And when it's conjugated this way, he, it's a command telling someone, do it. So, one hanendero, like, as you want, or like you want, and he means do it. So, one hanendero he, do what you want. Do as you please. And the second word, the yellow word, is nanin. Na is the informal word for me, and nun is the topic marking particle. This particle lets us know what the sentence is about. So, nanin, me, and kuge means it or that. And the pink word, pyonhe, comes from the verb pyonhada, which means comfortable. And this is the present informal conjugation of the pink word pyonhe. So, all together, we have four different words here. One hanendero he, do what you want. Nanin, me, kuge, that, and pyonhe, comfortable. So, if you're literally translating this, it would be, do what you want, I'm comfortable with that. But, since this is a song, do what you want, that's what makes me comfortable. Okay, and the last sentence that we have here is, Ishigani kaborigi jone. That's three different words. The red word, e, means this. And this word is anything that is closer to you that you're talking about. Like, e got means this thing. <laughs> or, e got means this place. Or if you want to say, e saram means this person. So, e means this. And, shigani is a word in a particle. We talked about the word shigan in a previous sentence. So shigan means time. And e is a subject marking particle. Again, it lets us know what the sentence is about. And kaborigi jone is, comes from the verb kada, which means to go. That's where the ka comes from. And then we have another verb here, porida, which means to throw it away. But when it's used with verbs, it means something has already happened and it's done and there's nothing we can do about it now. So, for example, the verb to forget, if I want to say, oh, I forgot, it's ijosoyo. But if I want to say, oh, I've forgotten it and now I'm already here and I didn't bring it with me, there's nothing I can do about it. It becomes ijosoyo which comes from that verb porida, which means to throw away. And there's another grammar point here, ki jone, which means before something happens. So, if you want to say hagi jone, that means before you do it. Yeah? Before you go, kagi jone, before you go, kagi jone. And since we're talking about time, instead of saying before this time goes, we want to sound a little more poetic, so we're saying, before this moment passes. All right, so let's break it down again. The red word, e, this. The orange word, shigani, which is time. And, kaborigi jane, before it goes away. So, translating it, before this moment passes. Now that we've learned all the words in the chorus, let's listen to the chorus one more time. Is it starting to make more sense? I hope so. All right, everyone, I know this one was a little bit difficult, so please leave me a comment below if you have any questions. And also, please leave me a comment below letting me know which song you would like me to decode next. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Annyeonghaseyo!